Morning, y'all. <laughs> so I've just been having a bit of a lie in. It's Saturday morning, just gone half past ten. I've uh, been traveling the last couple of days with work. Uh, had a long couple of days, but a good couple of days. And I'm just absolutely knackered. Got back last night, I think it's about half past eight, and just crashed out pretty much straight away. Uh, so, yeah, quick update on my progress in terms of the mini cut. A bit, a bit more frivolent the last couple of days in terms of what I've been eating, but a bit more loose in terms of what I've been eating. Obviously, I'm just dieting for a holiday, so I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, I can't eat here, can't eat there, oh, God, I can't eat this. And, you know, when you're out with friends or with colleagues or whatever it might be, you, you know, don't want to be that sort of spoil sport. So I've been eating my carbs, I've been eating, eating my bread, you know, because I don't want to let people down. I don't want to, you know be that guy as I say so um what was I supposed to do I had to eat the bread um uh, so, <laughs> so I've had a very pretty carby couple of days um which has basically meant when I weighed myself this morning I've actually put a pound back on so I was at 13 stone 9 I've now gone back up to 13 stone 10 which is is fine you know I can cut that away quite easily in the next couple of days um so what I've done in terms of my macros and my calorie intake. So I was at 2,200 calories a day. Uh, I've cut that down now to 2,000. And the breakdown in macronutrients will be, so 175 carbs, 200 protein, and 55 fat. Which, to be fair, that, that feels fine to me. I've only got 10 days now until the holiday, so it's a final push. I wouldn't necessarily say you want to be cutting your carbs as much as maybe I am at the moment, just generally, but I've not got long now until I'm going on holiday, and it's a final push on this mini cut, just to look as, as lean as I can. Uh, the problem can be, like, obviously, cut your carbs too low. You can, you know, start to strip, or try to cut away too much body fat too quickly, and you'll end up losing some of the muscle. So that's the game plan. So that should be fine. Feel good about my macros. Should be easy to stick to. Something else I want to talk about in this video is fashion for the muscular physique. So I'll come on to it. It's been an issue really for me the, as I've got bigger over the last few years and the you know, clothes off the rack in you know, Zara, Top Man, wherever it might be, especially on the high street, just aren't made for someone who is sort of, you know, built the way that I am or built quite muscularly. They're more built for the average person. So you've seen there's been a bit more of a trend over the last few years. And I don't think it's just me that sort of noticed it just because I've been getting sort of broader or whatever. But it feels like clothes are almost becoming narrower at the top and wider um, through the midsection, which it kind of goes along. You can understand why retailers do it because it goes along with the trend of the general population where, you know, uh, obesity and um, people being overweight is just like the highest it's ever been so you can understand why retailers want to make their clothes to fit the average person so for those of you obviously who don't find clothes just off the rack fit you so well I'm going to kind of give you a few ideas flash up some of my Instagram outfit of the day posts that I've had in the past and um, just give you a few ideas for what you could potentially do to keep yourselves looking fashionable and stylish without having to get absolutely everything tailored for you so that's the game plan for the day. I'm going to hit the gym in a couple of minutes. I'm just going to finish my coffee. And then I will be going to do a upper body day. And then I'm going to be doing legs tomorrow. So I've only been able to get five sessions in this week. and normally like to get six, obviously. So I did push-pull legs already. I want to hit my you know, chest and back at least once more this week. So I'm going to do, hit both today and then legs tomorrow. Seeing as I said, I was going to talk a little bit about fashion in this video. I thought I'd give you a quick outfit of the day or outfit to go to the gym in. So <laughs> something like those, those lines. Um, so as you can tell, I haven't done my beard, I haven't done my hair. I've literally just got out of bed, thrown my clothes on and heading straight to the gym. Just get it done. Um, so to kick off, I've got friend or foe, skull on cross feathers, um, blue t-shirt on. And then just a black gilet from Zara. To keep me warm, leather jacket from Barney's, um, scarf, I'm going to wrap it all around myself, do it up before I go out, it's blooming freezing, so um, yeah, I need to keep warm. Standard Zara leggings, um, or gym leggings, and then you have to, I mean you have to have a pair of funky socks for the gym, 
on a Saturday morning. It's my Saturday morning rule. You always got to wear funky socks to the gym. So these are Charles Tyrrett. Um, blue with grey polka dots. Um, kind of matched the t-shirt in terms of colour. Just about. Um, and then finally, I've got my standard Nike Luna Long high tops. Just completely flat. Fantastic for deadlifts, squats, etc. <laughs> Isn't the best place to find the lovers so of the bar is where I go mm-hmm. Me and my friends sat at the table doing shots Tripping fast and then we talk slow mm-hmm. Come over and start up a conversation with just me And trust me, I'll give it a chance Now take my hand, stop, prepare the man on the jukebox And then we start to dance And now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me Come on now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't finished my gym session I just picked up some food and for anybody who works full-time this should be what you should get for your lunch every single day I mean it's the most I mean I've worked out basically the most macro friendly um, lunch you can get from Tesco and it's three quid basically this combined um, comes to 60 protein 60 carb and like 15 fat which is amazing so I would definitely recommend to anybody pick this up on their meal deal. In fact, you can get a protein shake in there as the drink is like an absolute winner. And some jerky on the snacks. Absolutely brilliant. The gym is done. Had my lunch. Now I've tucked back up in bed having had a lovely shower. And um, I'm going to just chill and do bug all this afternoon. Probably watch a few films. And that's about it. It's going to be epic. <laughs> so what I said I wanted to do was talk about... Um, Obviously, fashion for the muscular physique. 
Um, what I'm going to do is just throughout this put up a few pictures of um, some of my outfits of the day on Instagram. Some of them are sort of like gym related, what I wear at the gym. Some of them are just like what I wear on a day to day basis or like, yeah, particular outfits I've put together that day. Um, I think the main thing is though, um, uh, I think you need to just kind of be able to assess your body type and um, work out what's going to look best for you. And that's not just like if you're muscular or anything like that. It's just knowing what type of clothing suits your body shape um, and what you can get away with or what you can make look really, really good. Um, so for instance, for myself, um, if I go for something, and it took me a few years, a lot of my friends have taken the piss and girlfriends taken the piss about me wearing small clothes in the past and probably now and again I still tend to. Um, it's, it's kind of difficult to move your sh shift your mindset on when you start building some muscle, especially in the first year or two where you can gain a significant amount of size. And part of you kind of wants to be showing that off a little bit, but it's kind of difficult to get away from like just wearing like what would fit you just normally off the rack to then having to go up another size or two so that it fits you across your chest and doesn't look pulled or doesn't look too small. Um, but then at the same time, you know, you're going to the gym, you want, you want to look good, you know, and um, you want to be able to sort of show that off to a certain degree, especially in England. It's not like you get the opportunity to wear investor and shorts all year round. So when you get the opportunity to be able to kind of maybe sort of show off how you, how you're feeling about how you look at that at that particular time then you should be able to do that so for me I tend to go basically and it's lucky because it's kind of in trend anyway it's kind of a bit more baggy on top so it'll fit me across my shoulders and my chest and then baggy around my midsection and then I always tend to wear skinny jeans but as long as you can find jeans that have got some elastin in them you can still get away with wearing skinny jeans even if you've got muscular legs um, I know a lot of people will take the piss again and say yeah you've got skinny calves Sam or whatever they're strong all right they might not look very big, but they're strong. Um, <laughs> so even skinny jeans don't tend to pull too much around my calves. But around my um, quads, my hamstrings and my ass, they you know, if I was to wear a pair of skinny jeans without much stretch in them, then I just would have no chance of getting in them. Um, so that's kind of what I tend to go for, just as sort of a casual outfit um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I tend to be sort of like just a big baggy t-shirt. I tend to stick with for myself more in the sort of black greys and whites monochrome uh, sort of look. Um, but then and now and again I like to put in a pop of colour or I might go a little bit more out there. Um, and that's kind of it really. You can see some of the um, images I'm putting up on screen of uh, some of the outfits that I've worn. Um, if I can find some, I might even put up some of the outfits that I've worn in the past that just looked a bit too small and pulled on me. And I might have thought, oh, it looks all right at the time. But actually looking back, it was just, I was wearing clothes that were too small. Um, and that's kind of it, really. Um, I'd say in terms of places to shop, um, actually, my girlfriend works for Charles Turret. And um, when they do have a sample sale, when she managed to get me a few shirts and things, they actually tend to fit really quite nicely on a muscular physique. And I've seen a few articles about Charles Turret as well, being mentioned in this same sort of conversation about what brands fit um, um, more, or more um, athletic physiques. And Charles Turret seems to be in there, um, along with J. Cruz and other, um, these are more American brands. Ralph Lauren tends to be quite good. Um, but from a high street perspective, I would suggest if you're athletic, um, maybe not like a bodybuilder and absolutely massive or like overly big, but especially for myself up until the last probably two years ago, I could get away with wearing Zara off the rack, like their blazers and so on. And they would fit me nicely around my arms, around my chest and actually still nip in around my waist as well. So if you're just athletic, but not like too built, Zara is a really, really good option. And, um, like for me, even when I was smaller than I am now, if I went to Top Man or something, then most of their stuff is like built for like a stick insect who's just sort of straight up and down. So that's kind of what they do is just a straight up and down. So I wouldn't probably, I'll probably steer clear of um, of Top Man. Um, trying to think where else is also good. Um, in terms of high street shops, Zara is pretty much the only one that I tend to go with. Um, if you're going to go for tailoring, 
Um, again, if you're going to buy off the rack, it's going to be really difficult. I would advise something like... <laughs> I think they're a bit of a fad thing and I don't think they're particularly great quality, but sort of stretch suits or, or some sort of suit with um, some elastin in it. So it all sort of, it will just stretch a little bit around you. Um, but I think probably your best option is almost to go for an okay-ish suit or a nice suit. And actually what you can do is just go to a charity shop and buy a decent quality suit. Um, it's probably you know, been a bit of an old man suit or whatever in the past, and you might get it for sort of ten pounds. But if it fits you across your chest and you like the colour, um, might be double breasted or whatever, whatever the styling is. But you're quite, you know, you're fond enough of it, and it might be great quality get wool or whatever. I'd suggest go to the charity shop, get something that fits you across your on your waist and fits you across your shoulders and your chest. Everything else can be tailored. So if you take it to a good tailor, um, then someone will probably be able to fit that for no more than like 50 quid for you and they'll probably even be able to take it in so that it's like a skinny fit or slim fit suit for you so you could get a nice quality wool suit basically bespoke all together for 60 or 70 quid um if you're sort of a bit thrifty <laughs> um everyone keeps taking the piss out of me if you say that i'm thrifty but hey hi to be honest at least i'm saving some money i suppose um and that's it. That's probably what I would say. So in terms of brands, Zara, if you're going to go High Street, Ralph Lauren, J. Crew, Charles Turret are all great in terms of brands. Um, I can't really think of too many others off the top of my head. But that's about it, really. So I will leave it there with you guys. If you've got any more questions um, or any comments or anything, then please leave a comment in the, descri in the um, <laughs> comments below. Uh, and I'm sure I'll come back to you. Um, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Much love. Mwah.